Cuentas. Hi. What a warm audience. You're damn right. You look great. Love the outfit. Thank you. Love the outfit. Thank you. What's going on? Um, a lot. I yeah. didn't get enough sleep. You're so a little tired. So it's been, oh. What can I do to help? Did you get your coffee backstage? I, I have a little chai tea. Chai but... tea is good for you. Chai tea latte, right? Yes. yes. Go with the soy milk. It's healthier. That's what I do, Craig. Thank yeah. you. Am I yelling? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get the Clinton joke? Did you get it in the monologue? I did, and I thought it was risque. I said, oh, is that what I think? We're not daytime that? anymore, girlfriend. This is late night. We do that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Good we're time. in a movie together. Yes, we are. And I said, I never did a table read, and you were my partner. Or you're not my partner. You were well, sitting, we're next, kinda, yeah, you were sitting next to me at the table read, and, I didn't, and you started chatting to me. I didn't know we, were, we could do that. I was just like this, you know? Oh, really? You didn't yeah. know what the protocol was no. for actors? I'm like, just TV boy. I don't know yeah. this stuff. Well, we can associate with one another. Right. So. Old school, when does it come out? That's the DreamWorks movie with Vince Vaughn, Will Ferrell, and Luke Wilson. Yes, it comes out in January, and I wasn't supposed to, but you know when they give those passes out, like in Burbank or somewhere where you can get a sneak screen? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. The director, he was really kind of bothered that I was there. Oh, yeah. You know, they just want to test it and see how the audience feels about they it. They cut me out, didn't they? No, they didn't. You're, oh. they, you're featured in the movie. He's smarmy and horrible. It's yeah. Great. Now, you... This is such a nice story. You did something recently. What a gift you gave to your, to your mommy. What? Tell them what you did. Oh, okay. So I uh, was working in um, Europe, and I realized my mother has never been out of America, oh. outside of America. So I thought, oh, I can give this gift to my mother and bring her to France. Now, how nice is that? It's really nice. Other than I didn't really think, okay, we'll be sharing the same hotel room yeah, yeah. for 10 days. It's a little close for comfort. I am her daughter. She sure. is my mother. And um, so I had to do everything within me to not be that horrible teenager that I was. To your mom, yeah. Yeah. But she had to think it was great. France, oh, yeah, yeah, she's never she, been there. So we would be driving in the car yet again, uh, going somewhere, and she'd go... It is so beautiful in France. And I'd be in the back seat like, yeah, mother, you said that eight times yeah. already. It's beautiful in Oh, France. you guys, see, that's bad if you're, you know, mother, daughter, na are you nagging? Is she nagging? Are you criticizing her in Europe? That's kind of like, leave yeah. that in the United States, <laughs> you know? I'm saying I withheld those thoughts. Okay. But I, I thought them. Did you ever say, mom, that's enough? Or it's Sort of, somewhat. But she had a great time, yeah. and I didn't spoil it. And, um, it, you know, I was working, so it's also you're having a guess when you're working. Yeah. So. But she had a great time. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Now, you actually, Hi, Mom. You ran away from home, though. I'm you, just kidding. You ran away oh, from home. Oh, my God. Home. Okay, this is where you're becoming an evil journalist. Okay. Um, Correct me. Correct me. Tell them what it is. This is what happens. Every article I do, because I got emancipated when I was Explain it, girl. 15. Emancipated. Emancipated, it's a big word, but <laughs> for me, maybe I'm uneducated. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, you get emancipated from the child labor laws, but I needed to have the assistance of my parents. But then the, the newspaper reports, they'll make it that I divorced my parents. And this is all because you were acting at a young age yeah. and you just wanted the freedom to act and not go through all the paperwork? or what, what was Well, it? I always knew this is what I was going to do for the rest of my life. And back then, I knew like 10 other actors. They had been emancipated too. And it had nothing to do with their parents. It's just if you're up for a part and it's you or the other guy and you're emancipated, they're going to hire you over the other guy. Because, because of why? They have to pay more? Or they have oh, to no, because you can work adult hours right. and I, mean, I assume Gary Coleman's of the world have done this they get emancipated <laughs> look at you are so so you, this is the journalist but you're not you're a, a nice person yeah it's fun though isn't it <laughs>
Uh, you, okay, so you did that. You, you don't want to talk about getting arrested or having a mug shot. You don't want to talk oh, about... Oh, no, let's talk about this. Okay. Because what people don't know about me is I'm an innocent. Because I think because the natural born killers, they, they think maybe you're a think psycho? I'm a psychopath or something. Do they come up to you and say you're crazy or without even I knowing? I feel my, my, my people, they understand me. So it's only... <laughs> My natural born killer fans, they feel me, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think it's the, the studio heads that are a little scared of me. They okay. might think I'm a psychotic actor. You're the type of person that might sneak into a screening in the valley when you weren't supposed to, right? That kind of thing? Yeah. Maybe. Just to see. Right? So my little arrest story is that um, I was a hermit as a teenager. Like, I never left my apartment. So one day I'm like, okay, let's go dancing, you know, with my friend. So we go dancing. How old, are, how old are you? I'm 15. Okay, you're 15. What's your problem? You're just sitting there as a hermit. And one day, one day, I'm not going to go out to the park. I'm not going to go down to the mall. Let's go dancing. You know, right? it, we're not in Footloose. Okay. You know when they'd stop the dancing? This is an innocent activity for young people okay. to socialize. All right. Okay, so we go dancing, and then... Um, Lo and behold, this is the night that the cops are going to come and shut down this place because they don't have a liquor license or whatever they're supposed to have. That's pretty serious. To okay. have the dancing. Yeah. So they said, everyone, anyone who's under the age of 18, raise your hand and we'll let you go. So me and my innocent friend, we raise our hand. Okay, so let us go. They don't let us go. They handcuffed us. <laughs> yeah. They handcuffed us in the in the alleyway, you know, and my friend is egging the cop on like, listen officer, you know, we shouldn't have to deal with this. And I'm like, would you shut up? Yeah, that's not Just good. Just zip it. Yeah. You're, and then he would give his like 15 minute authority speeches like, yeah. well, I told you ladies, this is why you shouldn't be going out when you're not, you know. Yeah. That's so, Did you have a mugshot, actually? Oh, yeah. So what happened is I joked with the uh, cop, and I'm sure he appreciated this. I was like, do you think I could get my mugshot? Because that would be a great piece of art. <laughs> so you, you, what, you have it in your bedroom now? Or? So now my dad, uh, he came to pick me up. He, the, he, he's an actor, so the cop gave him the mugshot on the side, and yeah. my dad blew it up for me for a housewarming gift. Isn't that nice? There's your happy ending. We'll be right back with five questions with Julia. I remember I was craving a cheese sandwich. Sunday on HBO, it's hysterical blindness. That's you and Uma Thurman? Yeah. Is it a movie or is it a series? It's a movie. It's a movie. Yeah. It's an HBO movie. It's a slice of life. It's 1987. It's we love 87, characters. don't we? Hi. Yeah, I think so. Well, during the, during the break, we went to commercial in-house here. We were playing ABC oh, Look of God. Love. Do you know, I'm stuck in the 80s. All I listen to is 80s compilation CDs. Smith? Morrissey? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. Depeche Mode. New Order. New Order. Yeah. I'm there. The Cure. The My Cure. Dark Days. Psych Furs. Yeah, oh, is that the short version? Psychedelic furs? Come Psych on. Psych furs. Keep going, back and forth. Um, oh my God, you stumped me. Oingo, boingo. Oh my, whoa. <laughs> no, I don't want you, I don't want to test you right now. I don't want to do that because you got to play five questions, oh, okay? Yeah. Save it oh. for five questions. Okay. General public, I'm sorry. Here Duran we go. Duran Duran. Oh yeah, Club. there you go. Blondie for right early back 80s. at me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Geography and what? Oh my God, what? In what country would you find the island of Lewis? I would never get this. What? Juliet Lewis. In what country would you find the island of Lewis? I have my own island. Yeah, isn't that cool? Um. Okay. It's sort of Welsh background. I'm gonna say the Wales. What? Or what? 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 You're close. What? You're in the right area. England. Oh, I'm terrible at geography. Uh, we what the can't hell? accept that. Scotland. Oh, oh my God, the buzzer. Yeah, did that hurt you? Are you okay? This is awful. We'll try to tone that down. Not Category is sports terms. Oh. Two-minute drill. What sport? Two-minute drill. 
Oh, you are asking the wrong person. Wait, uh, basketball? Is that embarrassing? No, no, it's, this is not embarrassing. It's good I'm married, because otherwise I wouldn't get a date after okay. this question. Two minute drill, what is your guess? Two minute drill. A two minute drill, football? Yes, football. Oh. You are actually married to a professional skateboarder. Oh, here we go. In yeah. skateboarding terminology, what's a grind? Okay, that's when you, um, I think you take the, he could give me hand No, signals. look what? at him. He's not here. Okay. Um, a grind is when you, I think you put the nose on the, the edge. Yes, moving and along the edge or on top of an object with the axles. There you go. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. I think this is a, we will accept this as an answer. Uh, yeah, it's not verbal. It's not verbal. It's a demonstration thing. I am right now thinking of a fabric for a throw pillow. I am thinking of a fabric for a throw pillow. Okay. What is it? Is it, is it, um, uh, cotton? Did you just say cotton? Yes. <laughs> Looking for chenille. We can't accept that. Oh. <laughs> and you're evil. The psychological warfare. Because you made me think I had it. Ooh, cotton's too easy. Come okay. on, be creative. Finally, right. 10 seconds on the clock. I need you in 10 seconds to name five jams or jellies in 10 seconds. Five jams or jellies oh, in 10 five. seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Raspberry, orange, strawberry, blueberry, and peach. Okay, okay. <laughs> This Sunday on HBO, it's hysterical blindness. Big hand for Juliet and Lewis. <laughs>